the ultimate goal of this project is to reduce the protein gap food security is becoming a big issue Marine fish catch is down and uh, Pakistan processing plants are running approximately on 30% of their capacities. This is going to be the first feed mill in Pakistan to produce the floating feed. Kansas State University is coordinating two week training program in USA. It's not only the eye opening, they went back with a lot of, lot of uh, out of box thinking. This feeding trial was basically conducted on the US soya based formulated feed. The first time in the history of Pakistan that uh, U.S. soya bean feed was used. We are going to do the feeding trial at seven sites all over Pakistan, north to south. We conducted the farmer's field day at the harvesting time at all the seven sites. More than 450 uh, stakeholders participated, fish farmers, academia, researchers, government officials. And we are uh, coordinating with the Fishery Development Board. The feeding trial result uh, gave a very marvelous results. People start taking turns. What is U.S. feed is doing to bring a uh, difference? This project is successful because the U.S. soybean meal formulated floated feed. Farmers had never seen such result before. <laughs> The next step for these projects are seminars and workshops and trainings in local languages with the aquaculture people, for the fish farmers, with the fish farmers, for the feed millers, with the feed millers, for the consumers, with the consumers. Good thing is that now they realize that they, they are uh, sitting on the gold mine. The aquaculture farmers particularly realize that, uh, that they have the potential, they have the capacities, they have the resources now. The future of uh, U.S. soybean meal is there and the food security, that is a win-win situation. This is all because of the American Soybean Association World Initiative, Soya in Human Health as well as the support by the United States Department of Agriculture. Mm -hmm.